Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today we're gonna play Phasmo in the most dangerous way possible, and that is by touching the gray spirit setting, which in this video I'll show you why you should never ever ever touch this setting in particular, because setting this to zero gray spirit will lead to so many moments where you're just gonna instantly explode and die without anything you can do. So we're gonna be playing on regular insanity mode, the only change being zero gray period let's see if we can do it uh it's gonna be fun i hope you join me if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it dislike it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go all right we got holly elliott so this is just regular regular mode uh, now if it ends up being really easy we could always reduce the sanity but that might be a oh no i'm freezing again edgefield did I say Edgefield? I meant Tanglewood. <laughs> anyway, we're here. My brain said Tangle. My <laughs> my heart and brain were not agree in agreement. We shouldn't immediately die unless it is a Thay. Which, that's gonna be fun. Alright, Ghost, where are you? Uh, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna play, like, super, like, a little bitch. I'm not... I'm gonna... I'm gonna play it... Kind of like normal, but I might have to do some different things here and there because it's extremely dangerous, obviously, to play like this. Oh, we're playing on insanity. There's no first possession. Feels bad, man. Can you give us a sign? Hello? I hear nothing. The ghosts are quiet. And then immediately, there's just randomly, it like adds such a layer of spookiness to the game because you know at any point you'll be walking, you can be walking around and the ghost could hunt from right underneath you and just instantly explode you. One of the many reasons why apocal the apocalypse challenge is so impossible. Uh, ghost, oh, there's a boner. Nice. Now we could get a big payout here. I guess I'm gonna bring in some items while you are just doing nothing here. You always play with no grace period. Is that why you're level 15? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I definitely... It's like the... It's the least rewarding thing to change. It gives you barely any reward. And it increases, like, your potential deaths from... Like, basically, in Phasmo, if you're playing on, like, normal ghost speed with normal grace period, there is... If you know what you're doing, there's almost a zero chance, zero percent chance of you dying. But as soon as you turn that grace period down to zero, that increases by like, I don't know, to 50%. Every game you would just have a chance of randomly exploding. We're gonna grab all this stuff. Hello, Gus. Are you here? Don't just randomly kill me, please. I haven't even found you yet. I'm gonna place this shit here. We're gonna walk around. I mean, it, the breaker was off at the start, so the temperature is gonna be slowly rising. Pretty cold there, though. It, it, wait, it's 20 degrees in the living room, 7 degrees in here. That's in this room. Unless it was just... No, it wasn't cold here. It was just a lie. You lied to me. It's gotta be in the basement. Usually when you don't hear anything, it's in the basement. <laughs> Yep, I think I found it. Oh, boy. Wait, that's such a shitty ghost room for this challenge. Because if it hunts from here, I'm instantly fucked. Alright, well, anyway, we found it. <laughs> that's one way to find it. You need to set this up so fast. Or we're gonna die. Can you give us a sign? Hello, Gus. Where are you? Uncleaned. Aha! We have spirit box as our evidence, which means it could be a fast ghost as well, which is going to be real fun. Okay, so that that, that helps a lot. And we can set up our crucifixes, which might which might be a really good idea in this case. Ah! Run! Immediately on my ass, <laughs> dude! I'm so glad I walked out of there. Holy shit. <laughs> oh boy. Got lucky there. I was I was just on my way back. I was asking- wait. That felt like an early hunt though, huh? 
Because I was in the light the whole time. It's not fast. No, it can't be. This is not a Moroi or a Dio. It could be a Moroi, actually. It kind of sounded a little slow. But we do. We did also just play like two hours on 150% ghost speed. So that might be why. Um, everything's going to sound slow now. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to grab a smudge stick and be... No, we don't want to be in the basement. We need to play some salt there. Let's play some salt. And then... Uh, salt and get a crucifix down there. Yeah, I don't know if that was an early hunt or if it was just... I mean, in Sanity, you get pretty early hunts. It's not a mimic. Didn't sound like twins or anything. I'm gonna place this here because this is the most dangerous spot the ghost can hunt from. If it hunts from here, I have no chance because it's gonna lock me in the basement. Right there. Got more stuff. Hey, at least we still got hiding spots too. You can hunt from the stairs, absolutely. That is like one of the main ways I die on Tanglewood. Even in normal, like even if you don't change the grace period, if the ghost hunts from there, it's very hard to, to get away because you're gonna have to go through the ghost, which is gonna be tough. Uh, let's grab that, let's grab this. Set up a candle on the crucifix or on Rio. We're saying Wraith. It just means you have to be on edge, like, all the time, if you play this way. Oh, uh, it's not a wraith. Nice. Oh, God. <laughs> Every time you hear footsteps. Like, the this makes ghost events so much scarier as well. Because if you hear the ghost... Oh. Take a photo. Got him! Dude, I'm so lucky this round. Holy shit. I think I got the photo. I did. Not a phantom. Okay. Doesn't sound like... Any of these. Yokai test? You need to do a poltergeist test? Okay. We didn't even have the smudge there. Do we even have a smudge? Oh god. Over here. This is spooky. Let's set up everything here. For a poltergeist test. Dude, this is a whole new adrenaline inducing way of playing. You just know at any point the ghost could hunt right from the like the ghost room is like a minefield now. <laughs> you can't be there. Alright. Because the gray spirit honestly is like one of the most important things. For balancing. Because as soon as the grace period is zero... Which rem they've done many tweaks to grace periods. It, back in the day, remember in the old times, grace period was... The ghost would just like spawn and would start walking in place. They got rid of that because people used to smudge the ghost during a hunt. During that grace period. And then they would be like, wait, why didn't my objective for smudging the ghost during a hunt get completed? Because it only counts after the grace period. So that's why they made the ghost invisible during the grace period. Which when they first did that, everyone was like up in arms. Like, oh my god, this is insane. How the fuck are we supposed to play? And now we're just completely used to it. <laughs> Back in the day that led to so many deaths. Like so many people... Like, had no idea what the fuck was going on. Alright, anyway, we got a smudge. I should... Put up a candle on the crucifix. Not that it's really gonna change anything. Let's just get a hunt. I can be here, because this is my crucifix. Hello? Here he comes. Or she comes. Please stand up. There we go. Not a poltergeist. <laughs> Most obvious, not a poltergeist of all time. I don't think it speeds up when you crouch down like this. Oh god. Woo! <laughs> Holy shit. I messed up a little. Okay, so we know it's not a poltergeist. I smudged at like uh, 38 on this timer here. So we can test for spirit as well. Now we need to set up like full on Rio uh, protection. 
It doesn't speed up when you crouch. It's Idaho. Thank you for the 17. Um, let's do this. I need to get that EMF reader. Grab both of these. We have another smudge in there, I think. New Grey Hill incident, I know. Uh, definitely gonna play that when it comes out. Oh god. Don't hum me. You can't. I smudged you. Oh, walking around. Oh, I need to place a... I can't see shit, man. Where's my light? Oh, there it is. This is on top of a crucifix, and then here. But now being in this, you really gotta be on top of your crucifix. Because otherwise you're in trouble. Can you give us a sign? Right, I'm gonna sit on this crucifix, because if it hunts from any other place, I could pro- my reaction speed should be fast enough to smudge it. One minute has passed, yes indeed. It's already almost- I think a normal ghost should be able to hunt basically now. Can you give us a sign? Candle on the sound is a fire risk. Yeah. Or candles on the sound? Did I say that? I meant stairs. Can you give us a sign? Do something. Oh. Ghost just gone shot. I don't even. Oh, it's definitely here. I was just about to say, I don't know if it's here anymore, but it is. Are you in on Rio? Is that what's going on here? Or are you just a spirit? Maybe you're just a spirit, actually. Oh. We were so lucky with this hiding spot. <laughs> this hiding spot's amazing. If you don't have a smudge stick in this scenario where the ghost, like, hunts with no grace period, you're fucked up. So it's not a spirit. That's nice. This is a tough one. We need to test for yokai. <laughs> I lived, bitch. Okay, uh, let's stay away. It hunted from upstairs this time. That's not nice. That's very not nice. Uh, let's test for the yokai. We're just gonna sit over here and then like make a bunch of noise. See if it comes to us. But then we can't test for our on Rio at the same time. It's so damn annoying, dude. Hey! Stop it! Stop it! This is not allowed. It moved to this room. A little bit. Okay, I'm grabbing the... Th ah! <laughs> it's fine. It's just a ghost of it. Different... So what is the sound during the hunt? You two sharks take you for the two. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I already got the ghost photo. I don't care about you. All right. Don't hunt. Don't hunt. I don't have a Christmas magic. Okay. Um, this sucks. I hate it here. This is spooky. Hello? The laughing noise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it back in the ghost room? I don't know. I don't... I'm scared to be here. I said I wasn't going to play like a little bitch, but this this is just... It's spooky, okay? We can be on top of the crucifix. That's fine. got to go back into the basement now. Oh, it's hunting from the basement. I can't really get away. <laughs> hey, you piece of shit! Come over here! Okay, it's on the yoka. Hey! Come over here! Okay, definitely not a yokai. Noted, noted, noted. Run away. Where the fuck is it hunting from? Dude, this ghost is- I feel like it actually might be in on Rio because every time I place candles somewhere, it just immediately leaves that room. Which is like the most on Rio thing to do. Hi. How are you doing today? <laughs> oh, it blew out the candle. Should be able to hunt now. If you if it hunts again from a room that's not this room, I'm gonna go leave with on Rio. What's what does a mare do? A mare roams away from lights, so actually let's turn off the lights. So it doesn't if it's a mare, it's gonna stay in this room and use the crucifix. Come on. Light also lighter counts as a candle, yes. Come on. 
be safe here. We're on top of the crucifix. No matter what, we can't be exploded. Imagine this without crucifixes. Are you genuinely be fucked? Like, what do you even do? Bunny, thank you for the prime. Oh, you suck. What the hell, man? I'm gonna say it's an Unreal. It could be a mare. Oh, God. Ah! Face through the door. Do lighters count as a candle? They don't count as a candle for preventing sanity, but they count as a candle for the Unreal. That was in one of the patch notes recently. It was like, the, uh, the candle now counts as a candle for Unreal's ability. That was in the patch notes recently. Uh, let's place this. I think it's just an Unreal. I mean, it might still be a mare, but it's been roaming away from the candles like non-stop. Every time we place candles somewhere, it leaves. We place candles in the basement, leaves the basement. We place candles in the kitchen, leaves the kitchen. It's like, you piece of garbage, get out of here. It hunted from the basement? Yeah, it hunted from the basement, and then I placed candles there, and then it left. Immediately. Yeah, it doesn't prevent the sanity. There you go, it wasn't on real. It doesn't prevent the sanity drain, but it does count as a as a lighter. Like, it counts as a fire for the Unreal ability, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Alright, there you go, we did it. Uh, that was okay. It was definitely some... It was definitely a little spooky, but we did it. Now let's go to... Um, let's go to Edgefield. Actually, Edgefield. Apparently, last time I also said Edgefield. Because this is... I mean, if you're downstairs and you get a hunt in this map, it's actually real tricky. Because there's no hiding spots downstairs, which really sucks. Okay. Alrighty, ghost. How are you doing? I mean, so far, so good. If we can somehow make this whole challenge without dying, I'd be very impressed. How are you doing? What is our hiding spot? Nice. We got one over here. Probably only gonna have one, but a man can dream. Didn't have 109 fuse box toggles. That was interactions. Imagine. I don't think it touched a fuse box once. Alright, we got two hiding spots. You give us a give us a sign. Yeah, I don't know how the Sunny Meadows candles count for the Onrio, because I had an Onrio in the chapel once. Um, and it just kind of like hunted like a normal ghost. It didn't, it didn't like hunt more often and it didn't hunt less often. It just hunted like any other ghost. So I, I don't know. I still need to get another on Rio in the chapel to do more testing with it. Maybe the candles in the chapel don't actually count for the on Rio. That could be it. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. Rude? Is that a hantu or something? <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> they don't- they didn't perma attack for me at all. Like, when I had an Unreal in the chapel, it just felt like a- any other ghost. Not a Jin. that's at least something. Probably not a Thay either, because we're still standing. And we're not dead. be randomly orbs in the living room. Imagine. Alrighty, ghost, give us a sign. Where are you? Are you here? It's so useless to just, like, randomly like, start using the evidence items because the chance of you getting it in that room plus actually getting the evidence, having the evidence is so unlikely. You have fingerprints. You do not have fingerprints. It's in the dining. Through a fork just now. Or a spoon. Right? Yes, it did. Okay. Set up our stuff. Go here. Orbeez. It could be a mimic. Orbeez. A mimic would be so easy. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you grandma? Where are you? 
Are you here? Are you close? So it's not spare box. It's not fingerprints and it's not freezing, so it's most likely not this, so we should be all right. I'm definitely gonna immediately place my, my crucifixes, because those are gonna prevent many injuries. Candles, much stick. Shut up. <clears throat> are you grandma? Next on Rio, imagine. <laughs> it can't be a Hantu because no um no freezing. Hantu will always have freezing. I need to, I guess we should grab a thermo as well to know for sure. And no, because it is in that room because the orbs are always in the ghost room, so orbs are really useful. Uh let's grab we already have a smudge, we need lighter and we need candles. That's such a useful way to figure out on Rio, by the way. Like, if you have a... What the fuck door? Door's disappearing. Can't go through it, though. It still has collision. DJ. DJ! Oh. Oh, this... oh, my God. Fucking goes <laughs> Gonna become the Joker. <laughs> Dude, it's like impossible to know the difference now. Like, what the fuck? I mean, I guess the, I thought I heard the door close. Oh yeah, the door did close because the ghost event started in the in the room with the front door. That's why. I was like, why did the front door close? Like at first, I was like, that sounds like a ghost event. Which I guess there's like genuinely no difference, so that could have killed me. Uh, can you give us a sign? Are you not here anymore? Are you a fucking on Rio again? It touched me, right? So it could just like hunt randomly. Vanity's gonna be real messed up. What do I do? You have hiding spots upstairs. No hiding spots over here, right? No hiding spots over here. I need to grab a thermo. I'm just gonna leave this here. Don't you dare kill me. Run! They have not removed Lisa from the game. No. Um, smudge sticks? That's all? Okay, nice. Grab this and another smudge. It's pretty cold here. It's way colder here, though. We could just also check for the orbs. Will I be able to see them like this? Um, I'm not seeing him. No Orbeez? Orbeez in the garage. Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. I think with one crucifix in the middle, that should cover the whole thing. Amber, thank you for the tier 320. What the hell? And then we'll just set this up over here in case it's an Unreal. It's not going to roam this way. All right, ghost. Give us a sign. Blow out the candle. I don't have the lighter thing. Or the... Not an Oni, but that's already the case. Okay. It should be able to hunt now because it hit me with two ghost events. Which means no matter what, my sanity should be below 50. Something. And you give us a sign. Um, I mean, we haven't gotten a hunt yet, so we can't really- It's not Obake either, though, because no fingerprints. Oh, I was only ruled out because airball ghost event. They can't do that. Also, how the fuck did you park this car? You absolute psychopath. You freaking vacuum sealed your- Oh. It blew out the candle just now. You freaking vacuum sealed your rear view mirror against the wall, man. You got it. You son of a bitch. <laughs> it knew what I was talking about. Ah! Stop it! This is just. Stop screaming! Everything! Sound, stop! Okay. Don't hunt from there. Don't hunt from there. Uh oh. Gonna hunt from there? Love it. It was a safe spot. Wait, it, it used to not be parked like this? I don't remember that. 
thought it was always like this. Come on, ghost. What are you doing? Obviously, we're super low sanity. There we go. It's in the perfect spot. Should be, should be using either of these crucifixes. Unless it's right in the middle, then it might be able to hunt from there, in which case it will be a disaster. <laughs> fine, it's fine. Don't blow out the candle. Stop it. I should have my... This actually might be another on Rio. Oops, all on Rios. Excuse me. Why are you not using the crucifix with the candles on top of it? What's going on? Hello? Just use the damn crucifix. Check it for fingerprints. No, it doesn't matter. Because we already have uh, ghost orbs. Just blow... It just blew up my lighter, like, back to back. Excuse me. I don't know what... I feel like on Rios have become my most common ghost recently. I was still... Oh, God. How is the Mimic still my most... I guess... I don't know. I still... Look, my stats are so weird. I still have most deaths to Mimic and most common ghost Mimic. What's your most common ghost? I blew this out again. It's always been Mimic for me for some reason. The EO Mimos, they just, they just get me. Yours is Phantom. They for you? Dude, that's unlucky. <laughs> Yours is Moroi. It's Myling. It, it, it's gotta be a fucking Onryo, right? Are you kidding me? Two Onryos back to back? It just blew out two of them. I, I, I have to go with Onryo. It's not doing... Shut up. You're gonna check now you're curious yeah if you've never checked your stats also make sure to know that there's a second page look how much the distance the ghosts have traveled 500 kilometers holy shit that's a lot of distance it's just going fucking sicko mode it it just blew out my lighter three times four times in a row i'm out of here this is this is not on rio i don't know what the fuck I'm at like zero sanity and it's just like going ballistic on my candles. I'm out of here. Can I smudge the ghost from here? I can't. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, on Rio, I need to click it. <laughs> I didn't even get a single hunt because the ghost was like, no, candles, help me. If... What? Was that the two on Rio's in a row? What's going on? I mean, that's a free 500 bucks, I guess. Sure, I'll take it. Let's go. So that was actually a really good tip, though. If you get an on Rio, place the candle in the room and also the room like next to it so it won't roam out of its room. Because if there's a candle like in front of it, it will just go into that room and be like, well, this room also sucks. Let me go back to my main room. But anyway, we got Gloria. Let's go. I mean, there's been a lot of people that have tested the, the randomization throughout the years, and it seems like it's always, like, like a perfect randomization. I, I wonder behind the scenes, though. Like, I, w I wish they added more stats. Like, I wish they showed you how many of each ghost you actually have had in the... Um, like, ev every ghost, not just your most ghost your most common ghost but like dude what the fuck <laughs> you love this door huh oh are you fucking joking do it again one more time like the ghost that you've uh not just the ghost that you've uh seen the most but uh every single like count for every one of the ghosts because they must have they must be keeping a count for every ghost behind the scenes, right? Because otherwise, how would they know which one's the most common? They must be counting every one of them. So they're just not showing us those numbers. So I would I would love to know. I would love to know. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna look for, I mean, I guess we'll take every evidence. Why is your most death the blank? Because you're an insane gamer and you've never died. I think when you, if you haven't ever died, it won't, like, there's nothing to show. So it's gonna have like an empty field. I mean, you probably maybe you have never played. I don't know. 
Where are you? Are you here? Are you? Okay then. Spirit box, and it's not Orby, so no mimic. Did I love spirit box? That makes my life so easy. Also, it is this guy loves this door. Holy shit! Am I most deaths beat to allies? <laughs> Oh, wait, it's bugged sometimes? Oh, if it's a tie, if it's a tie, it's probably blank, maybe? <laughs> maybe they, they, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's set up the Unreal thing again, because apparently all ghosts are Unreal, so we might as well. And do we need Wraith? We do have Wraith. Insanity? I can't, we're playing on Insanity. I am Toaster, take you with the four. Most deaths is to Deodorant. I should also take away pills in this difficulty, because I think the pills, like not having the pills just creates like that extra, I mean, I'm not using them anyway. That's what I mean, basically. Uh, Cause it creates an extra level of anxiety. Are you kidding me? Now you're here. Fuck you. I don't have photos, whoops. Well, I guess I'll set up here then. I'll set up two of them. One over here. I really wish yours wasn't bugged because you want to know. Yeah, I wonder how it gets bugged. You can reset your stats, but I really would not advise to do that. Um, we don't need anything else. We just need paramic. Check. Uh, smudge stick. That's gonna happen eventually. Yurei can actually do its ability on the gates and the tents in Camp Woodwind. Yeah, I've had it happen too, but like, you can't hear it. You can just like, after the fact, like, go like, Oh yeah, it probably used its ability on the tents. Because there's no difference in audio as far as I know. Okay, it's not a... Not a wraith. Also, it just came to me. Is it a phantom? Just like, straight up walk to me. What the hell? I'm gonna place this here. Let's see. I don't need this right now. I think we'll be fine. What's the best curse possession? Probably monkey paw by far. Like monkey paw is absolutely busted. Like it can do everything. Monkey paw is broken. Can you give us a sign? Cause there's like, I mean there's, especially on big maps, monkey paw is like super busted. Cause you can ask, the one trick I like to do on, on big maps is asking, uh, I wish the ghost was trapped. Then the ghost gets like locked in you, in a room and you also get locked in usually. Sometimes it bugs out, but mo you're supposed to be locked in the house. Uh, but then it will hunt after a minute, which usually doesn't matter on a big map because you're not close to the ghost. But then after that hunt ends, the door of the ghost room will still have like the lock symbol on it. So you can go around every door on the map to look for the one that has the, the icon on it. And then you know that that's the ghost room. It's super bo broken. It's probably not supposed to work that way, but hey, it helps. <laughs> anyway. I don't think that's actually intended, but I mean, it, it might be intended, but it, it was just never supposed to, like it, they never thought that it was going to be used for for like the ghost room this is like the monkey paw is very new so they might change it eventually but at least right now it's it's broken especially on big maps what's my least favorite curse possession probably summoning circle especially with the new change it already was probably my least favorite but with the summoning circle change it's just become like an almost useless piece of trash like, I really don't like it anymore. It's just... It, maybe it's not useless, it's just extremely annoying to use. It just, it just like, makes me angry every time I use it. Which is, I guess, like, the definition of your least favorite. <laughs> also, we got a whisper just now. Can you give us a sign? Can you do something? Oh, uh, okay then. I'm glad I had those down. Well, it's not an Unreal this time. We finally got a ghost that's not an Unreal. Let's go. I don't even know why I'm holding this. Okay, so it's gonna be haunted. I don't have a name for it. What did they change? They made it so that if you don't have more than 80% sanity when you start lighting the summoning circle, it won't work. So you have to light it at the very beginning of the game. 
or you have to bring a sanity pill into the map with you, which is also annoying. It's just, it's just annoying. I just don't like it. It might be, it's not a wraith because we got it to step and salt, but it might be a phantom. The fuck? So did I? Two crucifix. Can you give us a sign? I'm safe here because I'm on the crucifix. Oh. There we go. Ghost events. You're, you don't want to do a regular ghost event because you know you're a fucking phantom, huh? Oh, God. This is bad. I'm going to take two photos. I should kind of... I guess I'll be over here now. I'm going to... I'm going to be over here. Oh, God, God. Oh, this is so scary. Moving through the ghost room when you know it's about to hunt. Not fun. They have hiding spots upstairs. I don't know if I checked. gonna use the other crucifix this is, it might just be a phantom in which case i'm kind of fucked right now because it's gonna roam to me and then hunt from on top of me and kill me uh please don't do that ghost <laughs> please do not do that whatever you oh there it comes yep it's a phantom it is it though i don't think it is actually you saw there's Again, like, we're playing with no grace period, so you saw how it just immediately started. Spawned in right away. I don't think it was a phantom. Uh, I think it might be a poltergeist, though. Wait, is it done? Oh, it's not done. It, like, looks like a ghost event, but it's actually a hunt. Was it fast? I've been playing so much on 150% ghost speed that I'm kind of confused now. Maybe it was fast. Okay, so we need to do... Uh, buttered, buttered nugs. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Uh, we need to... Do a polter test as well as just listen if it's fast. Check if spirit. I mean, that's gonna... Check itself. Um, we bring in another... This. We don't have anything else. We already got all all objectives. We just need one more photo. <clears throat> What's my least favorite ghost? Probably Gorio. I mean, I, no, you're right. Like by far. Like Gorio, at least is like, at least it has something going on for it. Yure is just like, Yure is just fucked. Like it just doesn't do anything. Oh god. What the frick? What the heck? Can I get that happen? Can you do that again, please? This sucks. Now there's no more. Oh. Oh, it's definitely fast. It's a thay. 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 Wait, did it speed up? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It might be a Moroi. I think it did speed up. I think it's a Moroi. Yeah, it sounds faster now. Man, the crucifixes, I... They're, like, invaluable to this challenge. Without them, I'd be dead. Like, that would have killed me if it wasn't for the crucifix right here. Like, if you don't have these, like, safe zones you can hop in and out of... Uh... I would really love to get a ghost photo. Could you show yourself real quick? Can you give us a sign? The thay does not the thay does not speed up, so the fact that we Did I already get the bone? I did not get the bone. Did I? I sure I remember getting it, but I guess it was last game. Can you give us a sign? I'm gonna count down from five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. <sighs> Out here. I don't think that was actually. I think I already took that photo. Oh, I didn't. Never mind that. Lesty, I think you were the 15. Dude, what a. It's a no fuck you. <laughs> should be a Thay. I think so. And it should also be a perfect game then if it is. Or a Mor Moro. So it can't even be a Thay. Oops. I forgot we were not. I'm, I, I forgot we are no longer playing zero sanity run. Or zero, zero evidence runs, lol. Easy peasy. Yeah, so the other thing you could do there to test it is bring in sanity Welcome pills and then me. oh, yeah You don't get perfect game if you don't have the bone bring in sanity pills and then take those sanity pills during the hunt and see if the ghost slows down 
Just another way to test it. Abilities used two. Because of the whispers on the paramic, I guess. Interesting. Those count as abilities. All right, well, that was easy. Uh, let's do Grafton now. There's some spooky, spooky rooms in Grafton where you don't want the ghost. Bone is always guaranteed. Yeah, we got Corey. We got CJ again. Time to die. The only way to get rid of the curse is to take a sanity pill. If you get out of the house, it doesn't... It pauses the curse, but it doesn't get rid of it. So you'll have to, um... Have to take a pill. Even pills that don't... Like, if you're playing on... It doesn't matter, because... At that point... Like, what... You're always gonna be low sanity anyway. But if you are playing at 100% sanity, but you don't have any sanity pills, if you take a sanity pill, even though it doesn't give you anything, like it's a zero sanity sanity pill, it still prevents the Moroid curse, as far as I know. That it's like, you're never gonna use that knowledge, but... <laughs> because it's, it's completely irrelevant, basically. There's never a situation where that'll come to pass, but... If it does, now you know. Can you give us a sign? You do something? You hate the farmhouse? What did the farmhouse ever do to you? These beds are so... weird. They don't look like kids' beds, but why would they be separated like that? Oh? I don't hear anything. And playing in sanity mode is like a test for my patience, because I don't... Usually, if I don't hear the ghost for like the first five minutes, I just immediately grab the um, a cursed possession and start using it. Whereas now I actually have to be patient. Married couples used to sleep in separate beds. I mean, if you... If you're like both light sleepers, but you're also like... You move around a lot. Like there's no way you can ever sleep in the same bed, right? That must be... There must be so many people that are in situations like that. Like, rip, I guess. <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? I guess you just... That's interesting. That's, like, one of those things where you... If you are a light sleeper, which I'm an incredibly light sleeper. Like, if you were to be with someone who's also a light sleeper, that's, like, immediately, like, incompatible. Because <laughs> you can't... Like, th that's never gonna work. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Yes. I mean, you did, but you didn't leave any fingerprints. For a light sleeper? Like, you might... There's gotta be people that think they're light sleepers, but they're actually not at all. Like, I wake up like five times per night. To go to the bathroom or to like just like be awake and then go back to sleep like if you don't do that you're not a light sleeper you're just you just think you are <laughs> like i wake up every two hours basically like there no the usually the way it goes is that i sleep the first uh, for four hours and then after that every like two two hours i wake up so, I, I wake up... Ah! What? The ghost of it? What the fuck? It depends. If I have a good night, I sleep the first four hours, but sometimes I, like, wake up, like, immediately after I go to sleep, which then you know you're gonna have a bad time. Which sucks, because a after you sleep for four hours, you... You're, like, already not super tired anymore. So then... The, the mistake I always make is like, let me just quickly check like my YouTube studio real quick. Let me look at some comments. And then I'm like, before I know it, I'm like, ah, oh, I can't sleep. <laughs> I guess it's my own fault. Uh, let's grab all this stuff. Same. Oh, it's not in the, even that I get glued to the screen, because then I stop, but then I'm like, fuck, now I'm awake. Okay, this sucks. 
This is when they get you. When you when you get distracted and you forget that you're playing with zero grace period. All right, give us a sign. Do something. <clears throat> Your ski sleep schedule is even more fucked up than mine. Hey, I usually so. Like, I've always just accepted that, but it's insane. You don't realize how lucky you are if you can just, like, go to bed and then, like, eight hours later you wake up. You don't realize how insanely lucky you are. Because I... Like, I can count on my own hand. Like, on, on one hand, the amount of night... On my own hand. On one hand, the amount of times that's happened this year. Like, I think it's happened three times. And every time I'm like, oh my god. I slept. <laughs> Holy shit. I went to bed and I woke up. Insane. Can you give us a sign? And it's like it's like you're you're you you're like reborn. It 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 feels like like you've been you're 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 a baby again. You close you open your eyes for the first time. Crazy. You have so much energy the whole day. Right, let's grab this because we need it. This and candles. That's, I mean, there's also the difference between that and just like, I used to have a lot that I would wake up like six. I would wake up like four hours after going to bed and I would wake up six hours after going to bed and I would be not tired enough to sleep anymore. Now I'm... You know what the solution is to that? Just become so busy that you're always tired. <laughs> so, oh, God. What the fuck? This is a, wait, I'm dead? This is not a ghost event, right? Wait, no, it's not. Wait, how did you hunt? Didn't I have a crucifix right there? Wait, excuse me? How did I live that? What the fuck? <laughs> Help! I can't sprint! Run! What the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> that was insane. How did it hunt there? Wait, what? Didn't I place a crucifix? Maybe I forgot. Oh, I have it in my inventory. So wait, I swear I had one in the middle of the room. Yeah, I did. It, it started its hunt from like right here. Excuse me. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, I'm going to place these like this, I guess. What the hell? Is that an ability? Was that an ability hunt? Yeah, probably definitely not a demon. Alright, give me a sign. It's through this, but it probably didn't write in it. It did not. I don't have any evidence, man. Is it a Gorio? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Orbeez? I have to st this is where it could really suck. I have to, like, grab one of these crucifixes, put one in the middle of the room, and then the other, like, over here, because I have to check for Gorio. But I want to be on top of a crucifix so I don't get murdered. But then at the same time, everyone, even the light sleepers, were lucky that we aren't insomniacs, because that's, like, the worst. So... You, you, you give and you take. Uh, I, it's not an Unreal, at least. Oh. Love it. Can you give us a sign? Oh. I mean, at the... It's like people that sleep with, like, sleep medication every... It's a fucking Gorio! Get me out of here. What the hell was that, dude? That's like a perfect showcase of the danger of, of no grace period. I, I don't even know how my instincts kicked in and I got away in time. Because I was like so zoned out, but somehow I still made it. Anyway, let's go. Obviously, Gorio. I was just talking about how much I hate this ghost. That was nice, though. Uh, Game stuck. There we go. Welcome back. 400, even just like doing a really quick game like that. Nine minutes. Nice. That's a good way to grind. I think I gained like a hundred levels today. Almost. Dude, I'm going places. Uh, maybe we'll reach 16k. 
Who knows? Uh, let's do... Please, still. Maybe 16k is possible. Because we have still, like... We have still a lot of time. To, to grind. Uh, Co Corey again? CJ's everywhere. What the fuck? Excuse me? Didn't we just have a Corey as well? They is one of my favorite ghost chef for sure. They and Onis are like my favorite just because they like the thing is I think ghost events are the most fun thing a ghost can do besides like using interesting abilities but because I think ghost events lead to the most engaging gameplay because they they're really like the ghost events will teleport the ghost around which can lead to a lot of like spicy things like the ghost hunting from different locations the ghost like teleporting and changing ghost room in really erratic and weird ways because like for example if you walk into the if you walk into the map in tanglewood and a ghost is in the garage it could do a ghost event through the wall to the to the entry and then it could change ghost room to be the entry and then you could go somewhere else it could do a ghost event over there like especially on the small maps the ghosts can be super mobile because of ghost events. They'll just be like teleporting around the map, which is really interesting to me. Because if if not for ghost events, every ghost would just have to walk everywhere. You give us a sign that the ghost events allowed him to teleport around. Hello? Any ghosty? What the fuck? I thought there was a <laughs> I thought there was a face in the mirror. I like had to I had to, I had to do a double take there. Oh, it's because of the because of the reflection of a pixelated tree. What the fuck? <laughs> Report anomaly. Reflection. We have a hiding spot. Can you believe it? Or 2.0. That'd be amazing, though. You have, like, a face in the mirror. You just walk into a bathroom, you go like, wait, what the fuck? Like, what I hope they would add is, like, stuff. I hope they add horror stuff that are gonna be so subtle that it'll be, like, everyone will be, like, monka essing in Twitch chat while I just, like, don't see it. Those are the best type of things. That's why I love uh, Conrad Stevens' Paranormal PI so much, because it has a lot of stuff like that. But there'll just be things happening that you miss, and then you see them on, like, a second watch. Can you do something, by the way? What the fuck? The subtle horror is the best. You're not doing anything. Use the ghost item? I don't have any ghost items. We're playing on insanity mode. Are you up here, maybe? That'd be so fricked up. I'm so fricked up. Hello? Owner. Nothing is happening. Maybe it is a shade. Dude, that painting is fucking glow in the dark. Excuse me. What you put in this paint? Some uranium. It must be downstairs, like all the way at the back or something. We did play Con Receives just the other day. I haven't uploaded the video yet. Hello? You in here? I turned this on, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Probably. Is this even moving the right way? Wouldn't this move this way? The air would bounce off and push the... the would push it this way, no? Am I... science? Wait, if the air hits this thing, it would then... Oh no, because it's the blow... It's not a windmill, it's the blow air. It doesn't matter which way it blows, it's always gonna blow. I mean, no, because it can't suck in air. No, no, no. Wait, let's see. Let's science... Because it spins this way, so it's picking up air and pushing it forward. Yeah, it's mo it's moving the right way. If it would be moving the other way, it will be like, look, it's hitting the air like this and pushing it forward. So it's it's scooping it. It's scooping the air. If you would rotate it the other way, it would push it this way. Because it would hit the air from this side. Like if you would put it, rotate it the other way, 
it, the air would never hit this front. It would hit the back. So it is moving the right way. It's 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 proven. Science. <laughs> anyway, what the fuck? Ghost, hello? You've got us so bored we're talking about fans. Excuse me? Is it is am I in the wrong house? The ghost does not exist. Ghosts aren't real, guys. Is it an attic ghost? I don't see any items on the ground. It's gotta be attic. Hello? But the- oh! Genuinely spooky? I get chills. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I think we found him. It's a classical Bleasdale attic ghost. Haven't had those in a long time. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, next level. So this is already, like, obviously very dangerous. Like, I've been... If you would hop into a game with zero grace period... Like, this is one way to kill your entire team. Set grace period to zero. Don't tell them. And then see if they survive. I'm telling you, so I would die. If I would be playing a game and I wouldn't know it's zero grace period, I would do so many things that would just get me killed. Um, but because I know it changes things, so what we might have to do next time is come back with even in more insane settings. I, I guess zero, zero sanity would be absolutely unhinged, but like 150% ghost speed would also be really fucked up. We know what to do to CJ next time. Just grace period to zero. He's gonna be like, what the fuck? Alright, no Orbeez. Where are you? Are you here? This is such a shitty room. What? Where are you? Are you is it a hunt? A hunt? What the fuck? Dude, that's creepy as hell. It sounded like I was faster for some. It's a miling, right? <laughs> well, I can't hear shit, man. I think it's a miling. It's so fucking quiet. Let's grab a smudge. It did sound kind of fast, but I just can't hear it at all. There's only the ghost can only be one thing at a time. Good insulation. Grab this. What do we gotta do? EMF reader and repel the ghost. We can do that. What the fuck is this? My brother in Christ, your night vision is fucked. Excuse me. What? <laughs> What's happening? Also, I love how I was I was reading. Did, did they ever respond to my bug report? By the way, I need to check. Did I ever get an answer? No one answered my question. They fucking ignored me. Anyway, I bug reported that banshees don't. Uh, use their abilities between different floors and Sailor answered me sailor MVP the only person who actually answered me sailor said that they've heard that as well um, let's See oh and another person also answered me never mind two people answered me, but not the devs uh, Anyway, um, but I was checking the list of uh, like known bugs because if you are reporting a bug you make sh you need to make sure that you check like the The known bugs because there's always going to be known bugs and one of the known bugs is the purple tint on the on the on the camera I don't know why that's a thing though some of the bugs Like the known bugs that were actually intended game mechanics. I was like, yeah, but that's kind of stupid though. <laughs> like 
You should read the bug the bug cha bug report channel in the Phasmo Discord. They have like a like a pinned message, and some of them I'm like, yeah, I mean, it might be intended, but it's dumb as hell. <laughs> like, I disagree. You you can call it a feature all you want, but it's stupid. <laughs> all right, give me a sign. Hello? Get out of this guy. This guy's creepy. Hello? The ghost of it? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Guy's weird. Hello? I shouldn't really have a crucifix under my feet because what could happen now is the ghost starts a ton from right here and I explode. What are the chances of that, though? That was your comedic timing moment, ghost. You should have killed me there. <laughs> Gabs, thank you for the sub. Dude, this ghost has never heard of comedic timing. Can you give me a sign? Oh. The ghost of him again, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Alright, I'm gonna just... Wait over here, because I don't... Uh, I... It would have been funny if it did it right there, but I shouldn't be stupid. What? Didn't it hunt earlier? Why is it not hunting anymore? Hello? Ghost? Are you scared of me? What's going on? Give me a sign. Do it right now. Fucking attic ghosts. Stupid attic ghost. You think you're hot shit, huh? Because you're so hard to play against? You're just pathetic, you know that? What the fuck? Oh, there we go! Okay, I think it's definitely a miling. It's insane how obvious milings are. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> like, I always forget. Like, every time I think I have a miling, I'm like, this, uh, this guy is so quiet. And then you finally actually have a miling and you realize just how quiet real milings are. <laughs> like, that's a whole new world. What the fuck? You can, like, not hear them at all unless they're on top of you. But yeah, there you go. Milings are very obvious. That was a, that was a gimme. I, I still need to get more familiar with Milings on, on large maps, because sometimes on large maps, they do kind of trip me up. Ori, once again, you've once again been beaten, DJ. Unless, because it did also throw a lot, but I don't know. There you go. Back. Like, just, holy shit, 500, 500 points. Add a ghost in 12 minutes. Dude, if you, if you told my old self that, that I would be doing added ghosts that easy, I would have lost my mind. I remember spending like an hour against a, a demon in the Blee Still Attic one time when I first started out playing. Jay Jones! It's JJ. Yeah, what? Oh, look at that. The sunrise. Why isn't there, like, day weather? I think that would be interesting. If it's just... Because I don't think this game would be, like... Less scary if it was during the day. It would just be kind of interesting. Like, a spe maybe only with the custom difficulty or something. Maybe the ghosts don't show up during the day or some bullshit. I don't know. It would be interesting, though. I think that would be fun. Just, like, have... A lot of li I guess they don't want to do it for performance reasons because there's gonna be a lot of light, which is bad for performance. <laughs> the neighbors will come knocking. Also, hi, ghost. You threw the shoe. Can you give us a sign? Really turn on the breaker. Yeah, just like a daytime setting. I mean, it, it should probably be an... Oh, it was in the garage. It should probably be an only... Um, only custom difficulty setting. Because I do think it would make it a little bit less scary. But it would be like an interesting... Interesting uh, variation. Good 
Because, I mean, the sunrise already, like, genuinely helps. I think the most useful weather on maps that... Even on the campsites, honestly. I think the most useful weather is usually fog. Because it, like, provides so much light. Since for some reason the fog is, like, glow-in-the-dark. Doesn't really make sense, but it works that way. Gabs, thank you for the 100 biddies. But this weather is, like, a close second. Because it actually gives, like, real light. To a few locations, not much. Nick. Can you give us a sign? Are you in here? The camera's so sharp now, it's amazing. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you grandma? Is that in here? Where are you? Are you here? Are you French? Are you pizza? Oh, whatever. Give me some more stuff. Oh wait, was it? Oh, I can't have monkey paw. But yeah, monkey paw wishing daytime. I mean, it would be cool if there was like a monkey paw weather Easter egg. It's why I think you for the prime. Also, it's kind of insane that the monkey paw allows you to change the weather. Imagine in real life. <laughs> That would be too much power. That would be crazy. Alrighty, ghost. Are you gonna be a wraith? We've had some pretty obvious ghosts. Have we even... Did we make a mistake so far? I don't know. Boom. 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 Can you give us a sign? Did we do something? Change the entire time zone. I wish this house was in... Underground. I wish this house was on Mars. Just teleport around. Okay. What do we- what else do we need? Motion sensor? Check. Watch sticks? Check. Guess then we'll take this as well. We should be setting up our crucifixes also. Hey, it's easy. I wish for more wishes. Yeah, it would be- I thought for- I thought- that it did something negative when you wished for more wishes, but apparently it doesn't. Also, you suck. Ghost? Is that the smudge the ghost that's in this room? Yep. Alright, well, dang. I guess we're gonna have to move everything again. Ah, you're loud. Also, this light is amazing. My favorite light in the game. I think there's only two of these. One on Willow, one on Edgefield. Is there even one on Edgefield? Or Ridgeview? I think it's Ridgeview. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Also, it's the ugly shoes again. That is definitely just like freaking cork. What an ugly shoe. <laughs> Why would you wear that? How do I level up fast? Learning how to do no evidence is your best bet to go level super fast. Like if you just spam no evidence on sunny meadows and you just like hope you get a bunch of ghosts that you can instantly identify, you're gonna get an insane amount of money. Now let's bring another one of this and actually set up. We already have a candle on the map. We might as well grab both of these. You're only on level 50 right now. Well, I mean, then you have access to the custom difficulty. I'm always assuming when people ask me how do I level up fast, I assume they mean using the custom difficulty. Because, I mean, you can play on insanity mode as well. You shut the fuck up. But it's a... I mean, I like insanity mode. And I think insanity mode is a pretty good way to get a lot of money. But it's not the best way. But I think they, they nerfed it pretty well. Emily, thank you for the five gift subs. They did a pretty good job balancing out the, um... So high feet. They did a pretty good job balancing out the, the custom difficulty. 
You won't be getting like an insane amount of money for free anymore. You actually gotta work for it now. Uh, not an Oni. What the fuck are you? What is your evidence? Are you another stinky Gorio? It can't really be because it roamed already, I feel like. That's yeah, not a wraith. You give us a sign. Oh! It blew out the candle first, though. Maybe it's a another on Rio. We've gone full circle. Didn't we start with two on Rios or some bullshit? I'm gonna grab another photo cam. Hey, Rurich, what's up? We're on mobile. Hey, at least you're. At least then you give context to why you're asking for the challenge. But you can't see the title on mobile? That even that have been a thing? Uh motion sensors already wait, oh we didn't move it? Uh this thing thing. That's I guess about it. I guess we'll grab this. It cuts off, you can see a part of it. Interesting. It's like a like a YouTube title where it like only shows half and then you're like, what the fuck? I guess it depends on the resolution of your screen, maybe. I'm not sure. Are you keep blowing out candles. You might be an Unreal. Sneaky boy. I don't think I have a hiding spot. <laughs> Why? I thought I was dead. Holy fuck. Jesus. I was right in my face. Oh, God! Bolter? <laughs> What's going on, dude? Holy shit. What the what did Why did you come here so many times? Excuse me. Did we get the motion sensor? At least we did. Okay. Let's set up a bolter test because I felt like I was throwing way too much. Walking again. Grab all the stuff. Polters are always super obvious. I love polter guys. Ghost events on zero grace period are so so dangerous. Cause it'll just like do a ghost event. Go. What did I do? At least those don't teleport to ghost. Nothing. Definitely a polter. Come over here. Hey! Hey! Wait, it's not a polter? Yeah, I guess you're not a polter. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Smudge! Run! Okay, it's definitely not a polter, guys. Never mind then. Okay, we just smudged it at 32 basically on this timer. Okay, we did all objectives. Now let's see. What the fuck are we dealing with? It's not a rev. It's not a hauntu. It's not a Dio Moroi Raichu. This, this, this. It's like. It feels like it should be a Gorio. Um. But I don't really know. Did it turn on the light? I don't remember. I think it. No, because it can't be. Did it hunt from this room? Wait, how did it hunt from that room if there's a. There's two crucifixes in there that have not been touched. Excuse me. Also, my I just realized my timer here is stuck. What's going on? I guess I'm not gonna be using that to time the smudge thing. What the fuck? I'm stuck. How did that happen? Um, Jay Jones. I forgot. That's an amazing name. Okay, uh, we'll grab this. This will be an Unreal? I mean, I guess. I don't know. What would the evidence be, though? Because it's weird that we haven't gotten any evidence. Hold one there, hold the other. 
It's gonna be in the ghost room because there's a cru there's crucifixes in here. I guess we could set them up like this, like fully just block the entire room. Like you're never gonna hunt here unless you're. Nice. Okay, not a non Rio, and also not a spirit. Honestly, almost a demon. It feels like. I think that might have been a demon. No? Just, just barely not. And it could still be. Uh, anyway, okay. Yokai test? Banshee? Could be Banshee. Wait, 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 wait. We could do Banshee test like this? I have so much sticks here. Grab this. It was exactly one, one and a half. Can you give us a sign? Yes. It's insanity mode. We should be getting one evidence. Where's this evidence? What the fuck? Do I have a... Oh god. Fuck. I already took a ghost for it, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. It might just be or or... Turn off the damn light. I'm gonna die. Run. Good. Just go back to your ghost room, you piece of shit. Yeah, it's burning. The fact that it hasn't, like, changed ghost room in a while, even though it is leaving its room, is kind of suspicious. And the fact that we haven't gotten any evidence makes me just like... Wait, it's Orbeez? What the fuck? All right, never mind that. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, well, it's not Obake. Yokai, you're a mare or banshee. Wait, I swear we looked for orbs before, but I guess we just got the wrong room. Love how the the clouds are like red shifted because of the the way the light falls. Oh, the breaker's off. Yokai test, can you please shut the fuck up? Okay, we can, we can do Banshee tests just like this as well. Where's my bear mic? Come over here, ghost! Where's the bear mic? Yeah. It's eating up all the crucifixes right now. It doesn't even give a reading on the bear mic. Oh yeah, it does. This is like a permanent five. Give me a sign. Oh. Jesus. Get away. Fuck. I might have to smudge. Help. 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 What the fuck, dude? I hit it here. Okay, so it's... It was like kind of coming towards me when it was hunting. Maybe it's a banshee. That would explain everything. Can this thing please? Shush, 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 shush. You're too loud. Okay. So let's just sit over here. I guess like if it comes all the way out of here, you know stuff is, you know stuff's fishy. Can we see the... We can see the motion sensor from here. Because it's on that wall. I give us a sign. Oh! It's totally a banshee! <laughs> you sneaky! It's totally a banshee. It just... It just triggered the motion sensor. It, are you still here? Are you gonna walk back? It walked back? <laughs> Give us a sign. I'm gonna feel banshee. Come on, give me the scream. I've have I haven't had the scream in a while. Come on. Scream. Ah! How did I live? Holy shit! Dude, that that reflex though. Holy fuck. <laughs> well, it's definitely a banshee. Dude, that, you were the chosen one! How have I not died during all of this? Holy shit, how did I not die? <laughs> That's insane, let's go. <laughs>
At least this ghost has like a very loud ghost sound. Okay, so yeah. The teleport system? No, it doesn't teleport. Oh. What the f I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. What the hell? Excuse <laughs> me. All right, well, uh, it's probably a banshee. I don't really know what the hell is going on, but all right. <laughs> it should, because it like came towards me. So the banshee will walk towards you. It would, they won't teleport. Like the wraith will teleport, so they won't trigger any motion sensors along the way. But the phantom and the banshee will walk to you. But you can also detect with salt, by the way. It's salt is the best way to detect them, because you'll hear the footsteps coming all the way towards you. Yeah, if that's not a banshee, I don't know what is. Alrighty, well, surprisingly enough, I've impressed myself, uh, and we didn't actually die during this whole challenge, although we've been close. This is by far the least lucrative setting to touch. You should never touch this. The risk-reward, it's like increase. it's like insanely high risk with very little reward, because I think the difference, look at this challenge, so... The difference, I mean, I guess you gain a little bit. You gain almost a full point. But the difference between having two seconds grace period, even one second is already a huge deal. But zero second grace period gives you 0 0.95 for like so many times. Like you have to play in a completely different way. But anyway, maybe next time if you, en if you enjoyed this one, maybe next time we'll come back and do it with zero sanity and or also 150% go speed. But at that point, you're probably just going to die every game. But anyway, we did pretty well. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join, love the game, share in chat. You can join us over at twitch.tv slash Instagram. Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one. Bye bye. <laughs> see you around.